According to an ancient legend, the werewolf would be a human, being condemned by a curse, or predestined from birth, to transform into a ferocious wolf, at each full moon. In fairy tales, he is always the bad character, capable of instilling fear, as in the case of Little Red Riding Hood, and the Three Little Pigs. In the medical literature, however, there is a real mental condition, known as clinical lycanthropy. Clinical lycanthropy, is a rare mental disorder, with the presence of delirium, in which the subject who suffers from, it believes he can transform into an animal, particularly a wolf. He therefore thinks, he resembles an animal, not only in appearance, but also in behavior. People who suffer from this alteration, do not necessarily have to believe, that they are transforming into a wolf, but they can also be other animals, such as a horse, a pig, and a bird. These hallucinations, make the patient believe that his body is changing over time. You feel that your teeth are getting bigger, as is the size of your mouth. They can walk on all fours, howl, and attack others. In the most severe stages of this syndrome, people with clinical lycanthropy desire to eat raw meat, sometimes human, and even blood. Famous is the case of Peter Stubb, a German serial killer, suffering from clinical lycanthropy, known for having torn the bodies of his victims with his teeth, drank their blood, and ate their hearts. However, many of these symptoms, are traced back to schizophrenia, or other psychiatric illnesses, or psychotic episodes, given that clinical lycanthropy, is a disorder not recognized internationally. There are few documented cases, that satisfy some particular established criteria. What are the causes? They are not entirely clear. It is a real call of the brain, to the forest. It could be a consequence of other disorders, such as bipolar disorder, clinical depression, or schizophrenia. It could also be caused by neurological injury, or cognitive deterioration, due to certain diseases, such as dementia. Other causes, could be lesions affecting specific areas of the brain, responsible for representing the shape of one's body, which can therefore cause disorders due to misidentification. The psychotic behaviors triggered by clinical lycanthropy, could also be influenced, by the cultural context in which one lives. How is it treated? In general, clinical lycanthropy, is treated with psychotherapy, or neuroleptic drugs, also called antipsychotic drugs, which have a prevalently anti-delusion, and even hallucinatory action. They act, in particular, on some neurotransmitters, in order to reduce dopamine activity in the brain. They therefore serve to reduce instinctive and aggressive behaviors.